Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play City Skylines. Today I'm going to show you how to use the mod Extra Landscaping Tools. This is a great mod for uh, expanding the abilities that you have to do with landscaping. So once you have subscribed to the mod, and there will be a link in the description below, you'll want to come down here to Content Manager, go to Mods, and then search for Extra Landscaping Tools. There you go, and there are some options here. These are just different tools that you have available, and we'll go through each one of those in a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump in here into a new map. Okay, so we have loaded a map, and I've used the mod 81 tiles to unlock every tile on the map. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a uh, tutorial about that as well. Now, the landscaping tools. If you come down to landscaping here, you can see these are all the usual things with the exception of ditch, which I think is not part of the base game, but you can come in here and you can do this and it does things a little bit differently than the brush. Although honestly, I'm not really sure what the difference is, but we're going to come in here and we'll just undo all of that. This is one really nice feature is the undo terrain modification feature. Now, uh, what I do like to do is I like to use level terrain and then I set the height that I want. If you right click on the map, it tells you what height it's at. So like up here, it's at 240. And down here, it's at 196 and so on. But now if we make a big brush and we're set to 196, we can come over here and make a hole. Then what we want to do, another thing that we have available is sand. We can now paint sand on the map, a different texture. Then what we can do is we can also come in here to water and we can create a water source. We're going to yeah, keep the game paused. Uh, we're going to lower the water capacity, which makes the water source smaller. You can see it like that. Very, very small, or it can be very, very large. If we make it maybe about 0.1, we can come in here and we can click and then you can see that it shows like that. If we hover over it, it will show the water level. You see how it became, uh, everything is white. If you then left click on it and click or like drag up and down, it changes the water level. So we want to put it uh, about here. It will fill our little lake here. And then we hit the game on full speed and the water fills in. So that is one thing you can do with the landscaping tools. Another thing you can do is come over to ground resources. So now you can add more resources to your map. You can go to ore, you can make a big thing. We can fill that with ore. So if we come here to here, we can see ground resources. Now we've added ore. We could come over here and add a whole bunch more. Or we could do oil. Or you could just add a whole bunch of fertile land, which, fun fact, fertile land can be painted on the same uh, thing as the resources. So you can get a whole bunch of stuff in there. So that is another cool part of that. I showed you the water uh, source, but let's show adjusting the sea level too. You can see, uh, let's see, it's there. We can raise or lower just like the water source. I'm left clicking and then dragging up and down. So if we do this now, we're going to have a whole bunch of water suddenly show up and flood the whole map. We can come back down, clicking and dragging, and put it back to uh, approximately where it was before. And there it goes. So that's another thing you can do. I did not get it at the right spot. You can see the, the water over here, although there's a water source, so that will fill back in. Uh, in general, another word of caution, be very careful when you're messing with water. Uh, water physics in the game are very difficult to master. Make sure you have the game set to pause anytime you are using that. Now, taking a look at the brush, let's come into trees. You also have a bit of a tree brush now. So you could pick a tree and you could do a brush of your desire and 
just paint a whole bunch of trees in place. Now they will all be the same tree and it will not have much variety. There's a different mod you might want for that, for adding more variety. But also keep in mind, the more trees you have, the bigger the performance drain on your system. So that is just something to keep in mind. Okay, I think I've covered everything about this mod, and I think that is where we will leave it today. So I hope you've liked this tutorial and it has helped answer any questions you had about the Extra Landscaping Tools mod. I also hope that you will stick around and catch more tutorials about mods in this series. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.